Oi there, I'm Tiny Pirate and welcome to another episode of Scrap Mechanic. Today we're going to be messing around with these cows. Uh, mainly we're going to be starting to build a factory to process them into delicious burgers. These cows, I love them so much. They were made by Can of Can Gaming. I saw them in an episode of Scrap Man's uh, uh, Scrap Mechanic games where they were herding them as a group. And I thought, wow, these are, these are pretty cool. First of all, they use a cool AI. Oh my gosh, this one's assaulting me. He's a cool little AI to run away from players. And uh, that was pretty fun. But I thought, what would you do on a farm in Scrap Mechanic? And then I got to thinking, you would chop things up. And I want to show you something really cool. Because I want to chop these little cows up. So here's what I'm going to show you. I'm going to build a very small little device. And you're going to be... Uh, suitably amazed so we've got to put this on here and then I'll talk about what we're gonna do in this episode it's, it's gonna be a little bit of a secret actually that needs to be really really high it's gonna be a little bit of secret until until I get to the bit where I where I talk about it so just hold on caller now what I need to look for is saw blades from the sharper things mod and now I'm just gonna put that on there and now now look at that if I run into it ah! Oh my god, that is still terrifying. But what I can also do is, if I put... Uh, make this go... Whoa! Ooh, that seems really weird. Yeah, we're just going to build a big old cardboard uh, block here, or a pile of boxes. You saw these in my uh, train uh, building video. And uh, let's just make it nice and big. Oh, all the sides and stuff like that. Okay, cool. Now... We turn this on. Whoa! <laughs> you see that? Oh, they actually got smashed into tiny little pieces by the saw blade. So I thought, wow, that's that could be perfect for a slaughterhouse where we're turning cows into burgers. I just want to try and knock this back into the blade. Come on, get in there. Ooh. <laughs> It actually cuts it up. So, what better way to do that? Let's skip rid of you. What better way to do that than to build some kind of uh, factory that has a conveyor belt and it moves all the little things into a um, into a factory of some kind? So, I just want to get the uh, metal block out again, and I'll I'll talk about how we might do that. So, I've been having a bit of a think, and I've done some design work, and what we're going to come up with. Three, four, five. There's some kind of modular system, I've decided. I'm just going to put that guy there. We're going to have a modular conveyor belt system, and I'm going to publish it when this factory is done so that everybody can enjoy uh, building stuff. Um, here we go, long pipe. And uh, the factory is going to have various components. It's going to have nice wide conveyor belt components so we can fit components so we can fit all of these uh, jolly little um, little guys, uh, these cows on our system and it's going, okay there we go and uh, let's turn this on maybe not quite so high so now what you see is I can just stand on here and be rolled along and we can put cows on and then at the end we can you know put in some kind of uh, giant spinning uh, death blade and chop all these cows up into bits. So the first thing I want to show you are some uh, conveyor belt pieces I've built for straights. So I just want to put down a couple of these and you're going to see how the modular system works. Okay, so they're all sitting on the ground and I'm just going to grab the old welding, well, welding tool. So as you can see, they're all sitting on the ground and they're kind of color-coded so you know what side you're supposed to be connecting to what side. I'll show you what I mean. So. I mean, you don't want to be trying to connect it in, in a weird back to front way, but you can kind of see the engines on the side. So we're going to connect red to red. I know I've clicked the red square, so if I click the red, where it's red, red square, red square there, it'll line up. Likewise, the green square. Okay, so now I've got a three long uh, piece of uh, conveyor belt. And if I sit on it, I'll just be trundled gently along and uh, drop off and drop off the end like that. So I'm pretty sure our cows will uh, successfully uh, go on there. I might just um, test that out a little bit. 
Okay, I think I'll be able to get the cow to work here. So let's, oh, let's give him a little push. Here he goes. Okay, is he going nicely along our conveyor belt? Looks like it. He seems to be just pretty happy trundling along. I don't know if we necessarily want to speed it up. That might ruin the anticipation a little bit. But he's going to drop off the end just fine. The next thing any conveyor belt that works reliably needs is a corner piece. And I have built one here. So the corner right now is set up to go to the, I don't know, whatever that way is, the right. But it's obviously pretty easy to come along and turn it to the left. And, and it's modular, so it doesn't need to be one way or the other. So I grab the blue square. Um, it can be a bit hard to spot, so I'm just going to center it that way. Um, and then what I don't want to happen is for things to fall off the end here. So let's just get another uh, straight. Maybe two straights. Uh, and I'm going to just put that over there. Um, what do I want? I can connect it. Perhaps easiest is just to grab that middle weld point to there. Um, and you see it is nice and snug. And I'll grab the other one to go to there. What I now though have is a, is a point where the, where the evil cows could escape. But that's why I have built an end piece. And the end cap, uh, very simply, oh, it's slightly short. I might have to fix that. It's slightly short, but that's okay. It'll still work. Blue to blue. Bam. Now let's, let's turn everything on. So that's the corners. That's that. That's that. That's that. It currently is a freestanding um, system. So actually what I'm going to do just for speed is pick it up. I'm going to try and remember about where it was situated, I think. Lift that up. Good. Okay, now I'm ready to weld. Grab that piece. Put it there. Phew. Okay, so that's made it part of the world. Yeah, it's a little less laggy now. All right, here we go. Cow. And bonk. And we'll give it a little push. I wonder what happened if we turned it on while it was on there. Come on, get, just get on there. Okay, cool. It's on. Oh, no, I can't get to it. I can jump up here and watch him. Come on, cow. Enjoy your time. It's not going to be very long before you end up in the slaughterhouse. Oh, I know. Let's turn this off for now so that he stays there. And let's get some more bits down before he escapes. Uh, straight and another uh, corner. Why are you unnamed? Never mind. And an uh, end piece would be required. Okay, so uh, let's just do this quickly. Um, um, okay, come on. So let's weld. It's got to be this point to that one. And then it's got to be uh, this piece to, uh, I think it's there. Yep, and then it's got to be this end cap to over here. And now we just need to go around and turn all these things on. Okay. Is he coming around? I think he's stuck. Oh, some of them are going the wrong way. Oh no, Tiny Pirate, what have you done? All right. We can turn around that manually. Okay, the cow is coming. It's going to come all the way around. Uh, another straight. And it needs to be this one here. Oh no! Oh, we lost the cow. And now he's going to try and escape. <laughs> or she. Um, so I think this... Get out of here, cow. I think this would work really well. The thing we need to do now, other than turning everything off, is build the slaughterhouse part. So I think I'm going to give that a little go now. I want to get some blades running. So I've adjusted down the end of this, and I've actually realized in my haste I slightly misplaced this uh, bit of conveyor belt, but that's okay. I've adjusted down the end here, and I actually thought it would be good to have a couple of blades in the middle. So we're just going to take out these guys here 
and I think I'm going to cut a hole through and we're just going to figure out what kind of blade action we can get going in here. Can we get two? I don't think so. I think one is going to be plenty and it's going to go like that. So I better fill in this hole here and if I get a short pipe I should be able to just have an unpowered uh, unpowered short roller. That's my thought. Like I, I don't know if I would. Oh, I don't know if I'd bother to put a rock. I'll just have it. Oh yeah, that'll just do the trick. So now things are going to come through and just get absolutely munched. What's also going to happen around here, I fear, is that uh, things will start to try to escape. I have no idea why they would do that. So I want to put on like. Uh, a bit higher sort of a, a ceiling um, like, like that kind of thing that's my current that's my current thought and that will hopefully uh, prevent the cows bad cows from escaping the uh, slaughterhouse the test bed slaughterhouse that we're currently building you want to make sure the machine's working you just got to keep your face away from the the window at all times which is you know it should be perfectly doable for any normal person so those will be doing some slaughtering and it actually might make sense to have a couple uh, in the ceiling uh, would that be about where they are lined up I'm trying to remember oh, now we need a bit more so we'll do this I think this will be a really good test of the prince no we need the little thingy first this will be a really good test of the principles behind our slaughterhouse that's looking that's looking pretty slaughtery so far I must admit uh, I think if I was to come in here this would be a bad day I think we've got room for one more innovation and that is to essentially provide a uh, at least for this video I, I will do a, pro a more formal slaughterhouse if you all want to see one with a full uh, pen and herding system the whole lot I suspect um, it's gonna bug me because that's not a three wide anymore but that, that we'll just have to do for now um, I want to come up here oh, nope not there about about there will do and then what I want to do is get a piston I want to put some blades on it so would this do the trick let me have a look uh, that seems fairly lethal if you ask me yeah that does seem fairly fairly lethal I would love to have a system where it pulls it in and out um, I actually don't know how to do that if you have any good ideas please let me know in the comments below I think it's time to uh, wire this thing up and see what happens when we chuck cardboard in it so let me see so this will be to just uh, turn the system on and this one will be for the piston which I think I'm going to put there so I can see it so this one connects nope this one is going to connect to that and what I want you to do is to let's just try oh Oh, I like that. I don't like having to stand here to do the slaughter housing. But that is perfect distance. If I was very clever, I'd have like a flap that comes down. Some kind of conditional thing. So we have that to that. And then we have this to that one. Um, that one. And, and well, we'll do that one here. Okay, so just gonna throw something away so I'm not distracted by my inventory that works oh look at that and now that is pretty sweet for a starter effort if I don't say so myself uh, and eventually what I want to do is actually have a herd of um, ready-to-go bovines that will just get picked up and kind of sorted into the facility so that is that is my dream it's a simple dream but it's mine because I'm a weird sadist or something I'm not really sure you, you can decide 
or let me know in the comments below as all youtubers say uh, that was almost about right uh, we're gonna do that and then we're gonna just whack it onto the conveyor belt and then we're gonna turn it on oh oh that uh, that was a little ambitious uh, what if I just uh, uh, it is a cow. it is a very soft cow there we go we'll do it that way we'll just build pick it up stand under it and okay well we're just gonna have to take a second to get a few of these cows prepared okay everything is turned on now I got two cows in here happily working are they moving come on guys you need to get on with it two cows seems to be a good number before physics starts to get really really grumpy I would love to give them... Oh, they're going through, they're going through. We have to get out and turn on our special machine. Let's get in here, let's have a look. What are they doing? Here comes one. Here he comes. This is going to be just nasty. Uh, can I push the button from here? Oh yeah, I can. Here it comes. Here it comes, come on, come on, cow. Test cow. Oh, God. Oh, no. We're gonna need some kind of sweepers to keep pushing, like some rotating uh, discs or something to keep pushing things through. Oh my gosh, poor cow. It is in so much trouble. Look at it. It is definitely having a bad day. That cow has basically been shredded at this point. I'm not even sure that makes for a good dissection. I wonder if we need some kind of system to grab the cow so that just chunks can be cut off. But I, I do I do like what we've got so far. Oh, this is so fun. One piece is not coming through. We need to give him a little push. The second cow is coming. Bits of the old cow remain. Uh, progress is a little slow. Might want to. I might want to speed up these engines, but it does give a wonderful sense of anticipation, doesn't it? As these things come down, we'll see what blades hit him first here. This one hits, and then, oh, we jammed him back in, into the system. We definitely need to hold them in place somehow. Perhaps some kind of gate can come across, and that way we can uh, ensure that the well, the cow does not go too far. Now, where's my hammer? Let's let's give him a bit of the old fool's justice back into the back into the system. <laughs> oh, you poor poor little cow test subject. Just a test dummy, really. Will we give him a? Oh, <laughs> oh that is that is awesome. Oh, anyway, I I really like that. That is that is pretty fun. If you would like to see more of this scrap mechanic, uh, the scrap mechanic cow panty production facility then let me know in the comments below i think this has been a lot of fun i want to i want to keep building this do some more cool conveyor belt components and some good tenderizing components anyway i've been tiny pirate this has been scrap mechanic thanks for watching do subscribe for more let me know what you think in the comments below good night